at this time. At this time, we'd like to invite parents and guests to be seated to receive Don Views Health and Wellness Academy's graduating class of 2018 and 19.
the Haudenosaunee Confederacy, the Mississaugas of the New Credit First Nations, and the Métis Nation. The treaty that was signed for this particular parcel of land is collectively referred to as the Toronto Purchase and applies to the lands east of Brown's Line to Woodbine Avenue and north toward New Market. I also recognize the endurance of enduring presence of Aboriginal peoples on this land. Je tiens à souligner que cette école se situe sur des territoires traditionnels. Ce territoire comprenant ceux des Wendat, de la nation Anishinaabek, de la Confédération des Haudenosaunee, de la Mississaugas of the New Credit First Nation et de la nation Métis. On appelle communément le traité signé pour cette parcelle de traîner le traité achat de Toronto. Il concerne les terres allant de l'est de Brown's Line jusqu'à l'avenue Woodbine et du nord vers Newmarket. Je voudrais également reconnaître la pérennité de la présence des peuples autochtones sur ces terres. At this time, we'd like to invite everyone who's able to stand for the playing of O Canada. And now we'd like to officially welcome the family and friends to our 2019 gra Don View graduation. I am Abad. And I'm Zuhair. And we will be your hosts for this evening's presentations. Thank you to everyone for showing up your support and encouragement by attending today's ceremony. It's taken much time and effort for each of these graduates to reach this moment, and it is one they take pride in, as it marks the end of their elementary education and the beginning of their journey to secondary school and far beyond. I know they appreciate you being here. I would now like to introduce our principal, Mr. Ehrlich, and our vice principal, Ms. Siptak, to say a couple words. Welcome grads, parents, families, and teachers to Don View's grade eight graduation. I am David Ehrlich. I'm an honored to be the principal of such a fine school. And my name is Helena Siptak. I'm the vice principal at Don View. I want to thank students, staff, for making my first year here at Don View so rewarding and enjoyable. Tonight we have the pleasure of celebrating the graduating class of 2019. It is indeed a passionate and enthusiastic group. Our school superintendent, Mark Sprack, could not be here tonight as he is attending other graduation ceremonies. He's di he did send his congratulations and best wishes to the grads from Don View. I would like to now introduce our school trustee, who is also a parent of a graduate tonight, Trixie Doyle, to say a few words and to present the trustee award.
Hi, thank you everyone for inviting me to join in the, the Dawn View Middle School commencement this year to celebrate the success of our 2019 graduates. As Principal Ehrlich said, I'm also a parent of a graduating student this year. Um, so I've had the honor of knowing some of these students since elementary school, and it's been amazing seeing them journey from these tiny little kids to these mature adults that are sitting before us right now. As I've been going around to different graduations, I've been talking to the students about their experiences, and in most of the middle schools, uh, the students have been telling me um, about how they're gonna miss some of their friends as they move on to different high schools. Some of them are really excited for high school, but a lot of them are a little bit nervous, and all of them are ready for summer break. When I go into the high schools, though, these students do remember being nervous going into high school, but they said it didn't take them long to make new friends, to join new clubs, to take new courses, and to uh, feel at home in their new school. So I hope that's the experience that all of you will have early next year. So on behalf of the Toronto District School Board, I want to wish you all the best in high school and give a big congratulations on your graduation. <laughs> now I also have the honor tonight of presenting the trustee award. So before I became a trustee, I was a school volunteer and I got to spend about a decade working with some amazing student leaders. So tonight I want to recognize one of them. So this person is a quiet but powerful leader at Dawnview, leading by example and demonstrating outstanding community service. This person participates in a variety of clubs, from sign language to urban voices to fit spirit. This person gives up her time in the mornings and at lunch to ensure the announcements in the office run smoothly, is always ready to lend a hand to a teacher or a peer, and is respected by everyone for her consistent work ethic and positive attitude. This person is Ozma Hashar. Thank you, Trixie. Throughout the year, grads, you have worked hard and involved in many aspects of school life. You have played on sports teams, were involved in our school band, and were the leaders of our school. Many of you went to Ottawa as part of our grade eight trip. I was quite excited when Mr. Illich asked me if I could go. We went to museums, played in an arcade, had a great meals. I don't know if you like the accommodations, since I heard some of you never went to sleep. I had a great time. In grade seven, many of you went to monocliffs, and the list goes on and on. You made, in, you made a difference in the lives of others, which is quite impressive. You did sometimes like to take an extra few minutes for lunch, but that was something that we could live with. All of these memories can only be achieved with the help of our educated and fantastic teachers. They were always here to support you and keep you on track. They provided guidance, were here to listen and motivate you, pushed you to persevere and never give up. I want to thank to the Donview staff of 2019 for their outstanding work this school year. As most of you are aware, there are a number of teachers that are moving from Dawnview. They have, been, they have been at Dawnview for many years, but unfortunately due to our staffing allocations, which have been reduced for next year, they had to find new homes. Thank you, Mr. O, Mr. Baker, Ms. Lim, Mr. Labake, Ms. Diwale, for your outstanding dedication and commitment to the community. Ms. Lim, you're a caring professional whose students love attending your class, and the energy you bring to school each day is truly amazing. Mr. O, 
your dedication to equity and passion for the belief of students being involved in athletics is also very clear. Mr. Baker, you developed meaningful relationships with all students, whether they were in your class or part of many athletic teams. Mr. Libake and Ms. Duale, even though you were here for only one year, you have left your mark here at Donview. Thank you to the five of you. Your lasting impact will be here for a long time. I also um, want to recognize quickly um, Mr. Kennedy. I saw you come in. Where's Mr. Kennedy? Where? Mr. Kennedy's here somewhere. He was, there he is, Mr. Kennedy at the back. He was, he, uh, no, I'm going to introduce you in a second. I saved the best for last. Mr. O, come on in. So Mr. Kennedy, Mr. Kennedy was a teacher of many of your children last year, so thank you for coming. And also, uh, Mr. Ongaiba, come on in. No, you gotta come in. So, I gotta tell ya, I'm off script now, which is much better for me. I gotta tell ya, um, he came to me at the end of the year and said that uh, he was gonna retire. It was very emotional for him. Um, he has been here, I think, for almost 40 years, if I'm correct. He just sent me a note like two weeks ago um, saying that he had a bit of a gift for the school, which Ms. Peng uh, will take care of, and requesting to come tonight and asking if he can come to our graduation party, which of course we said yes. So welcome, Mr. Ungaiba, welcome, Mr. Kennedy. Okay, students, you need to thank your parents and families. They have been behind you all the way and have always been there to support you. They may have been tough on you at times, but always had your best interests in their minds. Congratulations, Donview parents, on the graduation of your child. Okay, so graduates, this is it. You're done. <laughs> Just a few parting words. Next year, meet new people, but keep close your relationships that you developed here at Donview. Try new things, seek support when needed, and always believe in yourself. And as Muhammad Ali said, he who is not courageous enough to take risks will accomplish nothing in life. So take those risks and go for your dreams. Congratulations, class of 2019. We are now ready to present graduation certificates to all our graduating students. Parents, you are welcome to come up to the front to take a picture of your child as he or she accepts their certificate. Please note that the aisles have been reserved for parents to take photos in, far and middle right aisles. We would like to ask that only parents of the sh students shaking hands with the core teacher and administration be the ones directly up front. Certificates are presented by class, and we ask that you hold your applause for each group until all the students in each class have received their certificates. I would now like to welcome Ms. Vaughn to present this year's graduating classes. With the classes of 678B, 678M, and 78, please rise and assemble outside the cafeteria.
Omar Ahmed. Sarah Cern. Keith Dennis. Brandon Mastro Giuseppe. No John Rahimi. <laughs> Ali Alakafagi. <laughs> Ashmeen Baral. Brianna Cortez. Ahil Fazal. Joshua Finch. Cyrus Fujimoro. Joshua Martin. Ladon Ladon Nasser. Alsana Amra Nova. <laughs> Olivia Cuthill. <laughs> Rushi Dunwanturi. <laughs> Ellie Kipfer. Daniel Mofidi. <laughs> Jawad Shafi. <laughs> Zuhair Siddiqui. Chi Fang Wang. <laughs> Miller Wang. <laughs> Harry Zhu. I present to you the graduating class of 8B, 8M, and 78.
With the class of 8-1, please rise and assemble outside the cafeteria. Matthew Allen. Aditi Anand. Alvaro Azafra. Maggie Bunbury. <laughs> Madeline Kai. <laughs> Evan Chack. <laughs> Luke Deering. Eric Doyle. Arash Faladerci. Oleg Jankach. Amy Long. Andrew Manga. Anderson McAlpine. Stephen McCarran. Laxican Navarat Narasa. Caitlin O'Doherty. Kushi Patel. Josh Singh. James Solomos. Ryan Sullivan. Akshaya Varakunin. Alice Wang. I present to you the graduating class of 8-1. Would the class of 8-2 please rise and assemble outside the cafeteria. Isla Afridi. Nadira. 
Nadira Bruno Aiton. Daniel Devener. Rihanna Garcia. Tenzin Geltzen. Uptasim Musa. Aphrodite Carmelingos. Move up to the stand, up here. Go by. Christina Carmelingos. Dimitri Lafaz. Genesis Motorlanda, Segovia. Nihad Mohammed. Roy Nelson. Omar Prince. Wally Crushy. Ashe Reed Scheme. Remy Saad. Sarah Sajid. James Serapian. Everin Sayers. Adnan Shikrela. Howard Victor. Safi Wase. <laughs> Zoe Cho. <laughs> Max Zhou. <laughs> I present to you the graduating class of 8-2. Would the class of 8-3 please rise and assemble outside the cafeteria. <laughs> Sylvia Abdo. Antros Abu Zaid. Ariel Biggs. Kalia Tamira Brown. Zoe Chen. Asma Hashar. Asma. Usman Ishfaq. Yeah. 
Arthi Karuna Kuran. Zainab Khan. Jalen Maxwell Phillip. Shane McConaughey. McConaughey. Obaid Mortaza. Isaac Nelson. Jane Pinnock Harris. Hannah Serapian. Aya Shahrud. Carmen Tang. Denny Vakche. Naswan Zayan. I present to you the graduating class of 8-3. Would the class of 8-4 please rise and assemble outside the cafeteria. Mariam Azizi. Kamani Batson. Shamar Query. <laughs> Sadiqsha Dahal. <laughs> Michaela Da Silva. Nicole De Los Reyes. <laughs> Rafat Hossein. <laughs> Gabriel Hunting. Ty Lee. Yes, 
Victoria Liu. Jazzy Matarang. Maliha Mazabin. <laughs> Camilla Moyd. Rosa Nuri Saeed. Isabel O'Reilly. Mathulan Ramesh. <laughs> Romeo Rajapai. Dylan St. Louis. Shade Scott. DeAndre Williams. <laughs> Jaheem Williams. I present to you the graduating class of 8-4. Now, we would like to give out our overall subject and special recognition awards. These awards are given to students with a strong overall average in each subject with respect and passion for the subject area. Special recognition awards are given to students who have displayed qualities such as leadership, community, spirit, and citizenship. Yeah, one of the uh, one of the teachers has to come. <laughs> you guys have to come and represent the awards. <laughs> guys?
There are students who demonstrate a desire to improve their marks in literacy, and then there are students who demonstrate a growing passion for the skills that they, earn, uh, that they learn in language. This student achieved just that. By clearly and successfully articulating all ideas, the passion was made evident. And with time, this student was able to display a tremendous amount of growth in language. And what a growth. Not only did the student take the time to meet the success criteria, but she went above and beyond the expectations by creating some very professional media displays that further reinforced her opinions. Language gave her the power to overcome her shyness, and soon she became one of the best presenters in the classroom. It is for this reason and many other reasons that the English award goes to Ayla Afridi. The winner of this year's ESL award is a student who barely knew any English on his first day of school. I remember that we communicated using single words and gestures in those early days. In less than two years since he has been at Donview, I have witnessed the student blossom and grow. Today, he speaks almost fluent English and he has taken the initiative to enjoy all that Canadian schools has to offer. He has stepped out of his comfort zone to speak on stage, he participated in the outdoor ed opportunities provided in grades seven and eight, and he also went to explore our nation's capital in the winter. Congratulations goes out to Adnan Shukrela. Teaching, teaching this year's recipient of the Mathematics Award has been a pleasure that I wish every teacher could experience at least once in their teaching career. Reading this student's exemplary work, listening to the thoughtful, provocative, and deep math explanations, and watching this student embrace every opportunity to grow and learn even more has been an absolute privilege. Um, this student has also participated in every math enrichment opportunity offered, from in-class challenges to school-wide contests, and won awards representing Tom View at the TDSB Math Olympics. This student had a score on the University of Waterloo Gauss Mathematics Contest that was perfect. It is with enormous pleasure that I give the award to Akshaya Varakun. <laughs> Hello, good afternoon everyone. My name is Carlos Alegria. I'm the grade eight um, science teacher. Um, and it was, a, it was a very hard um, task for me to pick just one student out of the four grade eight uh, for the science award. Um, especially because the students had a, a transition um, almost towards the end of the year. So I know that they um, try their best, uh, to, to, um, the best in each class. Um, but um, this student uh, showed perseverance and dedication to learn the, um, the subject itself. Um, but also to think of ways how we can apply it and make a difference in the world from within our classroom. Uh, it is my pleasure to give the Science Award to Oleg Jankic. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ms. Shanmugam. I teach science, so I will also be presenting a science award. 
So with this being my first year of teaching, I can definitely say I leaned on the students for a little bit of support here and there. And one student in particular always fielded my questions and constantly challenged me to think bigger. Trial and error are a big part of science, and this student always raised their hand even if they weren't sure of the answer. Their creativity came through in their hashtag doing it myself lab, where they had the chance to create their own lab based on anything that they were interested in, as long as it was safe. Um, and if my expectations are not clear, they're usually the first one to tell me to cut the teacher talk and tell the class exactly what I want from them. Um, this person has been a pleasure to have in the classroom and she will definitely be missed. The Science Award recipient is Ellie. Teaching social studies in the intermediate level can be a very rewarding experience, especially when you have students that go beyond the curricular expectations and seek ways to try to use what they learn in the classroom to make better changes for their community. Not only did the student demonstrate a consistent understanding of all topics discussed in geography this year, but he demonstrated a keen desire to learn more about the subject when discussions were uh, revolved around the issues of sustainable development around the world. It was clear to see that there's a desire to become a young advocate for change in how we use our environment, and for that, he ought to be commended. The recipient of the Geography Award this year is Daniel Devener. I'm here to present the History Award. And the History Award is given to someone who has not just a really, really uh, strong average in history, but also a passion for the subject. This student's work, whether it was an assignment, a test, an online blog in role as a confederation character, whoever it was, whatever she was doing, her work was meticulous and detailed. In fact, Sometimes, well often, on a test, her handwriting is so teeny tiny because she has so much to say, she can't fit it in the space. And those are not extraneous details. Every single one of them is important and necessary. She extended her passion for the past into her personal school project where she decided to, su decided to study Julius Caesar. It gives me, well, we know who it is now. It gives me great pleasure to present the History Award to Amy Long. Well deserved. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Juana Estrate, and it's my honor as a grade eight French teacher to present this year's Donview Middle School French Award. The recipient of the French Award have demonstrated over a significant period of time interest and an outstanding French language skills. She displayed an outstanding performance, a positive attitude, and consistent effort in French. This award is given to a student that exhibits a love of lear learning a language, a desire to do well, and has consistently made efforts to use the language on a daily basis, both inside and outside of the classroom. Ladies and gentlemen, please acknowledge this year's French Award winner, Osana, 7-8.
I'll be presenting the Fizette Awards. The recipients of the Fizette Awards were on several sports teams. They frequently put in the work needed to improve. They exhibited leadership and able to bring their talents to another level when their teams needed them the most. They both consistently maintain positive attitudes and are exceptional ambassadors to represent athletics at Donview. The male, de male recipient demonstrated poise, leadership, maturity, and calmness in big moments. It's been an honor to coach this individual and watch him grow. He is so mentally tough that he lost a shoe about 10 meters into a 1,500 meter <laughs> track race and kept pushing and almost placed. I am proud to present the male Fizet Award to Alvaro Azafra. The female recipient is a true competitor, willing to leave it all out there. She has been a key member of virtually every sports team at Donview. She plays volleyball like she's six feet tall as she viciously spiked on girls twice her size at the tournament. I am pr proud to present the Female Fizet Award to Victoria Liu. Okay. Hello? Okay, we're back. I am presenting the Health Award. The Health Award. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. yeah. Okay. This award goes to a student who learned this year that health is more than skin deep. She enjoys learning about health so much that she took it on as part of her uh, personal school project, learning about how to attain a healthy complexion and learning about what to do to make your skin look its best. She learned about what foods to put on her skin, what foods to eat. She learned by even doing research that she then applied to her own self during her own experiments on her own face. In health class, she applied the same kind of enthusiasm to every unit that we did. She was always engaged, her work was always outstanding, and she never ever hesitated to ask a question. For her outstanding work in health this year, the award goes to Madeline Kai. Great aides, can they hear me? I don't think they can hear me. Can? Okay, great aides, congratulations. I would like to address my um, acknowledgement towards all of you because all of you did an amazing, amazing job throughout those two years that I was teaching you art. From um, the project that we did about Canada to social justice, exploring all sorts of uh, different ideas about the environment and themes of equity and justice, as I said. I'm so proud of all of your work that's throughout the school. And then finishing with the mural that's in front of the cafeteria as well. So it was really hard for me to choose from all of you who will be the one that will take that award. Um, the choice ended up being Sadiksha from 8-4, please. <laughs> Thank you. 
It's my pleasure to uh, give out a DT award today. Um, this student exemplifies what a technologically literate person looks like. They're comfortable in designing with digital designs or with designs expressed on paper, whether that's in three dimensions or in two dimensions. This student has always been safe and very knowledgeable with tools. They have an openness to making mistakes and trying again, like with our Rube Goldberg machines. And they show in all of their work good communication, collaboration, and problem solving. You don't have to do a trade after DT, but this person is looking forward to a career in that area. I'm pleased to present the DT award to Matthew Allen. And if you look on the screen, one of his projects is up here. Good evening. Tonight, I will be presenting the Drama Award to a grade eight student who has shown exemplary talent in the area of drama. The student has been extremely outgoing when it came to performing in front of an audience. The student has made very passionate and expressive, um, has been very passionate and expressive to all forms of drama. The student applied the creative process to develop drama work. They also use drama skills such as voice, role play, to communicate ideas, feelings, and point of view. The award goes to Olivia Cuthill. The, recip the recipient of the Dance Award goes to an individual who showed great creativity, passion, and enthusiasm in dance. He showed, he showed great pride in his actions, movements, and analysis of different dances from various cultures. This student showed great improvement in their quality and encouraged others with, a high, with his high energy and support. It gives me great pleasure to call on Luke Deering. <laughs> Music is something that is in all of us. It's not just about... It's not just about being good at making sound. It is a way to express yourself, to be vulnerable, and also providing inner strength. The recipient of this year's Music Award really flourished through their music, always showing up with a positive attitude, ready to learn and participate well, as well as help their classmates improve. When speaking to their homeroom teacher, it became evident that their success in music was having a positive effect as well in their other classes. This student took risks, had fun, and loved the music, so much so that you could always hear them in the hall. Thank you, Nicole, for sharing your passion with everyone here at Dawnview. Um, Ms. Siptak and I have the pleasure of presenting the principal list, uh, which is given to the students that have achieved an overall average of over 90%, and there are a number of them. When your name is called, if you can just come up to the stage and wait, 
to, uh, in t until all the names are called. So the first person uh, who, has the, who is the top grade eight student in terms of academic average of 91.7 is Akshana Varakunan. Zainab Khan. <laughs> Amy Long. Madeline Kai. And Mad sorry, Maliha Majabin. Yes, don't take my paper. Every year, one student. Every year, one student is recognized for their outstanding academic achievement. This year, the recipient of the overall academic achievement award is being presented to Akshaya Varakunan. I'm not actually. Okay, okay, okay. Just a moment. Okay. Akshaya always stretches herself in every subject, learning from feedback and challenging herself to push beyond her comfort zone. She always presents outstanding independent work and demonstrates consistent perseverance. Akshaya engages fully in every activity demonstrates a genuine curiosity and joy for learning. Congratulations. Middle school can be a, a challenging time for all students, academically, socially, and emotionally. The most important lesson that we teachers try to offer our students is to never give up. Life has its ups and downs, and although it may seem as though everything is against you sometimes, it's how you get back on your feet that counts. This student demonstrated such resiliency that it became inspiring to many classmates and to teachers like myself. Mr. Libaki, how can I get more than a level three plus? Mr. Libaki, how can I get more than a level four? Mr. Libaki, how can I get a four plus? This young man never gave up and always tried his best in all challenges given to him. 
Whether it was creating a dance piece that he'd perform in front of his peers, or learning to uh, engage and lead his team members during our gymnastics unit in Fisset, or trying out every sport available in track and field. Regardless of the outcome, he always maintained a positive outlook and set goals for himself that he knew he would be able to achieve with consistent hard work. And in the end, hard work paid off. This year's recipient of the Outstanding Effort Award is Safi Wasay. Each year, the Ontario Principal Council presents an, uh, an award on leadership. The Ontario Principal Council's award is given to a student who is a member of our student council and who has demonstrated exceptional leadership. This year's award winner demonstrated a tremendous dedication to student council by consistently taking notes at meetings, updating Google Classroom with reminders and schedules, and taking the initiative to speak to the teachers about possible activities. She is an outstanding student and an outstanding person. The OPC award winner this year is Zainab Khan. That better? Okay, here we go. Um, been doing this for a long time, and, and I've been lucky enough while at Domview to present the Marcy Great Tricks Award, which is the award that goes to the special education student who's demonstrated the most growth uh, academically, but I would argue more importantly socially uh, over the, the time uh, at Domview. Uh, this particular student, uh, I've been honored and lucky enough to have in my classroom for three straight years, and to watch the growth of this particular student has been absolutely astounding. Uh, to watch them grow and move out of their shell and start to interact and experience the world around them has been, it seems almost cliche, but just to experience that on a day-to-day -day basis has just been one of the best things uh, that I'll take with me uh, when I retire, uh, uh, hopefully not too long from now. Um, just a few s simple things, uh, and I think some of you in a graduating class would know this as well. Uh, waiting for him, uh, waiting for lunch, this particular student waiting for lunch to come. He'd always go get a soccer ball about five minutes before lunch, and he'd put it under the desk and put his foot on it, and he'd start talking about uh, his pep talk that he would give his team as he went out on the field uh, to coach. He actively, uh, well, at the beginning, he participated on the periphery, on the outside. But over the years, he gradually found his way right into the middle of all the action. And a little shout out, not to everyone involved, but you know who you are. All the people who let him into that circle and welcomed him and laughed with him and just let him experience and grow. Uh, you know who you are once you see who comes up. Um, my hat's off to you as well uh, for letting him into your lives and letting him experience. Um, I gonna hate to see that all of them go. Uh, this one in particular as well. Uh, the Marcy Gray Tricks Award goes to Ahil Fazal. The Laura Farbstein Award is given to a student each year who has shown outstanding growth and achievement in the gifted program at Dawnview over the past three years. This student has always been academically strong, 
But over the years that I've known her, I've watched her confidence grow as she began to see that marks were not the end of her learning, but really just the beginning, and feedback an opportunity to grow. From every piece of writings, first draft to the final copy, to her multiple iterations of her debate, to even her perseverance when trying to create the perfect macaron, which turns out to be much more difficult than we all thought, but ended up with the recipe for the perfect chocolate chip cookie. What sets her apart is her continued willingness to step outside of her comfort zone, apply feedback, and become better and better. It is my great honor to present the Laura Farbstein Award to Aditi on it. I will be presenting the City Councilor Community Spirit Award, and the recipient truly embodies community, spirit, and everything that goes hand in hand with both. Last year, I took the responsibility of running Athletic Council, only I did not run it. A dynamic seventh grader with big ideas and the drive to make these ideas happen took the reins, and I became her assistant. This individual is always positive and enthusiastic in spite of the pressures and stresses of school and home life. She not only helps others, but genuinely cares as she does it with a smile. This year's Community Spirit Award winner represents and advocates for the Donview community. Her contributions have been endless as she has had a hand in everything that takes place at Donview. I am truly honored to announce this year's City Councilor Community Spirit Award to Malia Majvin. <laughs> At this time, I would like to invite Malia to give her valedictorian address to the graduating class. have passed. We still lose our hall passes. We still forget to put our benches up. We still don't know what class we have next. What has changed? What will really change? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, friends and families, fellow graduates and staff. I'm Maliha Masvin, and I have the honor today to speak to you as your valedictorian. <laughs> First of all, thank you to our families for always being there for us. No matter how annoying we got, no matter how many tantrums we threw, no matter how many times you told us to get off our phones, and we still wouldn't. Teachers, Words will never be enough to thank you for being part of our journey in the last three years and teaching us new things. A shout out goes out to all the core teachers, Miss Muhammad, she's not here right now, but Miss Ganan, Miss Julie Bake, Miss Pang, Mr. Baker, Mr. Underdog, and Miss Singla 
for bearing with us throughout this roller coaster. <laughs> Another shout out goes out to all the rotary teachers. This is gonna be a long one. Mr. Alegria, Ms. Vaughn, Ms. Estrade, Mr. Han, Ms. Duale, Ms. Mezeshan, Ms. Roshberger, Ms. Shamugan, Ms. Filipova, Ms. Donkena, Mr. Lewis, Ms. Duale, Mr. Mahendra Raja, and Ms. Gantra Raja. Huh? <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> A huge thank you goes out to all those people rolling behind the scenes, including caretakers, office staff, ed, ed assistants, and others. As you can see, this is how many people are needed to build a great place and an exciting learning environment at Donview. Mr. Han, nobody ended up in the hospital thanks to you reminding us through every single DT class to wear goggles. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Alegria, I don't think we ever understood what an ecological footprint is, but what can you expect? We're the same people who run to the ice cream truck and wine for DPA. Yes, that's us. Yes, we're a unique bunch. Before you miss us, Mr. Ehrlich and Ms. Sivtak, we must thank you for all the time and effort you put into making sure everything is running smoothly. So thank you. <laughs> then there was us. We have come a long way from fidget spinners, Fortnite dances, and now we got horses in the back. We're also the people who have embarrassed themselves at some point with their crushes, yes. It doesn't matter if you're single or not, cause at the end of the day, we all get that one cheap snap from Team Snapchat on Valentine's Day. Uh, yes. We have survived through facial acne and procrastination. Who am I kidding? None of this is over yet. Today is just graduation, not goodbye. We don't have to say goodbye to the friendships we've built, courtesy of Instagram. Whether it was through classes, clubs, or teams, we all met each other. Some of us were athletic, so we joined basketball, volleyball, or other sports. Some of us were tech people, so we took part in tech team or yearbook. <laughs> Some of us were musically gifted, so we played on one of the million bands Ms. Vaughn had going on for us. <sighs> Donview always had some type of opportunity for all of us, whether it was taking leadership on a council, learning a new, si learning a new skill at sign language, and whatnot. Part of what makes Donview incredible are all the unique opportunities for all the unique individuals here today. 8-2, keep making those step dances. And 8-4, start a band. 8-1, <laughs> thanks for all those Oregon compliments. And 8-3, you guys should be the ones to run Canada's Got Talent. We don't have to say goodbye to the memories we've made. Remember singing at the top of our lungs on the bus to Ottawa? <laughs> Remember getting lost in the mapping activity at Monocliffs? <laughs> good times, good times, and lots more to come. So, what has changed, what will really change? We have changed, and I don't know what else will change, although I have to share this one quote with you all. Change is the only constant in life. It's true. When I was graduating from grade five, I didn't know what to expect in middle school. I was so afraid of what was ahead of me because all I knew was that basic stereotype of middle school being your worst nightmare through books and movies like Diary of a Wimp Kid. It turns out they stand corrected. I have made amazing friends and learned from amazing teachers in the last three years. Sure, it took us time to get to know each other, figure out 
how to open our locks or find our way around the school. It took time, but we did it together. I've had teachers who made my middle school experience unforgettable, and a special shout out goes out to Ms. Pang and Mr. Baker for making this year the one to truly miss. We're going to high school, and that's a change in our lives. Nobody can tell us what's ahead in the same way we didn't know what was ahead when we walked in through those blue doors. So let it be, because guess what? Everything's going to be all right. Enjoy yourselves tonight at Pickle Barrel and have fun. Soon, soon. <laughs> Go soon, go on and pick your outfit for your first day. Go back to school shopping just like any other year and walk in through those doors of your new high school. Think of this graduation as a cliffhanger of that one season and you'll find out what's next as soon as Netflix releases the next season to be continued in high school. <laughs> Keep the mem... <laughs> Keep the memories and friendships from Don View here with you as you go along to make some more. I have nothing left to say except I love you 3000. Oh. Love you guys. <laughs> now let's give a round of applause to the class of 2019. Thank you, Malika. <laughs> oh. Thank you, Malika. You have given us important things to think about this summer. It has been our pleasure to present this event to you. So for me, Obaid. And me, Zuhair. Thank you all for sharing this experience with us. Um. The dinner and dance will start uh, <laughs> Finally, let me reintroduce Mr. Ehrlich for some closing remarks. Um, just a couple of announcements. Let's give it up for Zuhar and Obai, our MCs. Great job. They put up with uh, all of us in terms of directing and telling them this and read this on the script and uh, that's a challenging thing when you are following the, direct, uh, the direction of many, many adults. So well done, both of you. Uh, you did a fantastic job. A couple of announcements. First of all, um, they're going to tell you about pick up and drop off at the pickle barrel in a few minutes. Um, I do want to recognize a couple other teachers that have come tonight, which is amazing. First of all, Mr. Wale is here with her young daughter. Thank you so much. And graduate, Ms. Belazare, I see at the back. Ms. Belazare, can you wave? There you are. If there is anyone else that I'm missing, uh, Ryan's here. Thank you for coming, Ryan. Our uh, working, working with Mr. Baker, that's great. I don't think there's anyone else. Yes. Um, and thank you, Ms. Davis, for sticking around. And Mr. Richards, who works over at Roywood, came as well. So it's been a wonderful evening. Um, I know your children are excited to get to the next part of the evening, and they'll give you the directions and specifics and all that stuff. Uh, thank you once again to everyone for your encouragement to all of our new graduates. And now, the graduating class of 2018, 2018 uh, has a surprise for you. 
2019. Very nice. Okay. <laughs> nice one. So at the end of the year, some students from the grade 8 class asked me, could we do a little bit of a surprise for our parents and for our teachers? And so, with much debating on what song to sing, today we'd like to sing something for you. Some students did arrange some of the lyrics, and just a reminder, grade 8s, the words will be on the screen to help us. Mr. Han, are you ready? Is this not on? Is this now? Okay, so. <laughs> you hear any? These aren't on? Can we have the words, please?
room, this night would not have happened. Endless hours of planning, details, picking who will do what. Miss Peng, thank you. Without you, this would not happen. And Miss Vaughn, without Miss Vaughn, we would not have all the musical pieces, organizing the stage, and, and organizing everybody in the background. Thank you, Miss Peng. Thank you, Miss Vaughn.